collector. So I collect a ton of old home books and I'm having the hardest time trying to figure out what to do in the butler's pantry because I feel like it's such a good opportunity to do something different. But there's not a lot of light and there's no window. So there's basically no light in there. But I also kind of feel like that's the perfect place to like play with dark. And But then I also have the back of my mind that's like, okay, if we're not going to tile the kitchen anymore, we have all that leftover tile, like we should be using that tile in there, but then that's white. The counters are soapstone, so those are already purchased. So I'm trying to just see if I can find any inspo in these, which it is incredible. It's just like, you know how like fashion is always revolving? This is also always revolving. Like the things in here, I just love like timeless design. That's really what I want to accomplish i'm kind of towing with doing sage for the cabinet color because i feel like sage would look really beautiful with the dark soapstone and then to have that white above it and then do sage floating shelf as well this is what i'm pondering over <laughs> these two colors which like okay so this is i think i've decided that <laughs> they look the same but they're not the same so I found this one, which I love this one. I think that's so pretty. But I was like, I think I want it a little darker. Hmm. Okay, but look at it. Like, that literally comes up gray-gray. We definitely, we do not want gray-gray. We want green-gray. Okay, so this was original, which I don't love. So I'm trying to figure out. I'm just trying to make it more, like, special. So cabinet change to one of these. And then it's soapstone. The counter is the soapstone that's already ordered, so that's a non-negotiable. And then we use the Klee tile that we already have. So I want this entire back wall, like this isn't a big space, so I want this entire back wall to be this tile from countertop to ceiling, no backsplash. And then I want the cabinets to obviously be this green and the floating shelves to also be that green. But I feel like because, I feel like, is that gonna look weird? The green counter. And then this for the light, which is a little blingy, but you need something. I, I wanted to do a way cooler light in here, but the ceilings are really low, so I do not have the opportunity to do that. That's another thing, like this ceiling's actually way lower than this rendering showing. But I almost feel like I was gonna just do floating shelves in the white oak and now i'm like i feel like that's but so when they were in the white oak it was just plain but now i'm thinking that i need to make the shelves a little more interesting and not just floating if i'm gonna do this sage okay so i'm going back and forth with craig from oak and carbon who does all like the insane renderings for the butler's pantry and i was trying to like really go for Basically, one of my favorite things to do is to find super, super old kitchens, like pictures of kitchens from the early 1900s or like 1920s and like really get back to the roots and pick out in those photos like what still would be beautiful today because if it was beautiful back then, it's going to still be beautiful now. So I came up. Let me just pull up this string of emails. All right. So it's a simple room, but I was like, this is a small room, so I'm going to play with a little bit of color and so. But this color is not, I was saying this on my Instagram story, this color is going to be like different. Like I'm kind of thinking maybe my nail color almost. Um, and then the soapstone we already have bought, so that's a must. And then if we don't do tile in the kitchen, then we could use the tile, extra tile in here. Um, but then I was like, it's going to be weird if it's just like floating shelves that are painted. So I wanted to do something different. So then I found this old picture of a kitchen. I was like, okay, those brackets could be really cool, which I like tried to mimic. <laughs> right there and then I also was like something like this would be so cool like all of those hanging pots and like obviously we don't have enough space to actually hang pots that low but I could put like a whisk up there or like a measuring cup type of thing and so that's how I came up with this <laughs> this man he this is what he sends back he goes I have a butler's pantry and one thing that I always wish I had is more storage. So what do you think about this? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so good. That is so much better than mine. Like, let's just take a moment, okay? This is mine. My computer would load. <laughs> mine. His. 
<laughs> like his looks a million times better. So I gotta get the price quoted on that because it also looks a lot more expensive. But I think we know <laughs> which one I'm gonna go with. But like, dang. <laughs> it's like he's gonna take my job away. Yeah, I'm self-employed and I'm feeling threatened by how good he is. So these are like basically all the things that I found from thrift stores over the last like few months and then also some of the furniture. So these are what I picked up this past weekend but we're doing the twins bedroom so I thought that was kind of cool to lean up against something. I should add that over here. Um, and then for the twins bedroom again these were at the vintage store which I just thought those were so cute. Um, and since we're doing so much like new things, I really, really am trying to incorporate the old. And then for the kitchen, how beautiful are those? So I got five of those that can be styled and stacked on top of each other. But I thought those were so beautiful. But then I have this whole thing. Look at these, which this was a funny story. So I got these for $12 each. Um, and then my cousin texted me that night and she was at my aunt so not even her house and she's like Sophie clearly the Like style runs in the family and then she sent me a picture. This is so cool. I think of my grandparents Stools, so she sent me this picture when they're like literally identical But my grandparents have been gone since I was six years old and so I just thought that was so cool um, that they're literally the same, but it's $12 for this. Isn't that like insane? These are just some other cool things So we have these nursery blocks for or these blocks for the nursery this I thought was just cool to style with we have some more frames um, Some candlesticks. I thought this would be cute It was literally two dollars on top of like books in the living room These were a dollar from our local St. Vincent de Paul and then I thought these were pretty too for the kitchen um, and then we got this coffee table for six dollars but i don't think i'm gonna use it in this house but we'll definitely use it at another house that was a facebook marketplace find that i made ben go and get with me and then these are just some books that i thought would be really pretty to style with and then look at this color it's so pretty like, isn't that beautiful um so again we can style with that as well we got tile samples yay i have been waiting for this so what's really like cool is that because bso studios is a design firm i say it like it is what it is um we can now get trade accounts and so we get free samples which like makes sense you know because we'll use these for oh god we'll use these for like projects and houses to come but i ordered a lot of them most of these are for the um butler's pantry and then i think a few of them i was just curious on like the material and i could possibly use them in the future so let's see what we got so i am insanely high maintenance about the tile that i like versus the tile that i don't like so we'll see if these meet my criteria okay first up these are so beautiful they're so pretty, but if I told you the price, you would nearly die. But, oh my god, aren't those insane? Like, do I do it? Wouldn't it be so cool that in, like, the cabinets, this color, and then also this tile, all the way up the wall, the floating shelves. Okay, that's a good one. Really like that one, but I know off the top of my head that that one's, like, so expensive. Okay, this looks cheap to me, but I don't think I like that one. Okay, that goes in the no pile. See, this is printed. Ugh, so high maintenance. Okay, so this is like the printed version of the tile that we got for the whole entire house. So the tile that we got for the house is all handmade and like dipped. And it's like, that's why it's like really nice and expensive. But obviously like... 
trying to save money here except i'm not good at it okay this is so pretty Ooh, that would be pretty i'm thinking in another color because i think this will be too dark but i really really like the way that look this looks and i also really like i've been seeing lately people mix this with like the matte version so then it adds some contrast for sure like that one love this one this one's marble look how pretty that is here's another version of this one just different color ways so that's unfortunate that i don't like that one and then these are extra long but that's pretty that's a pretty color i wonder if we do that i wish it was i want to see if they have a smaller size i think this long piece might just be too modern for this and then there's this color too that's pretty also okay i need to take pictures of these and then lastly this one which this looks fake to me yeah that looks pretty on to me which i definitely don't like okay we have some winners and some not so winners but overall pretty good Pretty good uh, haul of tile. So I'm working on finalizing all the designs for the house because I want to turn these boards that we have, like I want the boards eventually to be for each house that we do. But I thought it'd be so fun for each house to get these um, letters that we can put on top. So it'll be like up there that signify what project it is but look at how cute these letters are go big or go home but won't that look so good with then all the designs and like i want to try to figure out if i can get like the tile hanging and then the wallpaper and paint colors and like make it really dimensional and just become a thing for each project that we do from now on. So the previous owners who lived in the house for like 55 years or something insane kept so many incredible hand drawings, renderings, like they documented everything and we were so lucky to get those. And so I obviously want to do something special with them in the house. And what I was thinking would be really cool in the office was to do a gallery wall. I'm trying to get Framebridge. I'm obsessed with Framebridge. I think their frames are like the prettiest on the planet. But I'm trying to see if they want to do something with me to get these all custom framed because they're all weird sizes. But isn't this just unbelievable? Like the amount of stuff that they have is so crazy. So all of these are 11 by 17s. I have like old wallpaper samples. I don't even want to touch it because I don't want it to break. That were in the house that I want to get framed, but since a lot of them are 11 by 17s, I'm trying to go through and find some variations of sizes. So look, he has a section called Whitefish Bay Rated, and it's just all of these. There's no place like home. There's no place. Okay, see, we have to like, this is what I have to frame because this is so special. It'd be cool if this was the actual house. I mean, like he even has note cards with information, old pictures of the houses. Like this is on, this is what I aspire to be in my life. This is incredible. And the amount of history that we now know about the house because of this is, I don't even know what to say. I just keep saying incredible, but it's really, it's like unbelievable. All right, I am headed off with Courtney, Ben and I just did a little swapsy situation. So Ben's going to hang out with his brother and I'm grabbing his, like my sister-in-law, Ben's sister-in-law. Um, and we're gonna go find some vintage drawers. So apparently there's this place in Milwaukee and I want to try to find a vintage door for the office. So 
I want it to be glass so you can see through it. I don't know exactly what I have in my mind, but everyone said that I would have such a hard time. Like there's gonna be so many good options that I'm not even gonna, gonna know what to pick. Hey, look at this. Are we, <laughs> I really don't know if I love back here. No, I mean, it... why well, wouldn't you, right? Like, look at all this. Oh my gosh. That's, they're 65 oh, cents. Pretty. Whoa. Okay, this is actually so cool. Okay, like that would be, yeah, these are so perfect. Cause that you can like see through and it looks, we saw this one, which looks an actual replica of the ones at the house right now. I'm wondering if our doors got here, except I wanted to keep, I told um, Eric to keep all the doors because I wanna use them in another house, they're so pretty. Yeah, no, I think they're in the garage. Okay, that kind of was a fail, but so cool at the same time. We definitely need to go back, but we just, you almost have to like be looking for a front door. A lot of good front doors. So really many pretty. good front doors, but I think our criteria was just a little too intense. So now that we're in Milwaukee, we're gonna go to some more vintage, vintage stops and see what we can find. I was saying I need a coffee table and I don't know, whatever else tells me I need. <laughs> uh -huh. 